Hello, lords and ladies. My name is Archaic King, and welcome back to my Let's Play Return to Popular Croix, a story distance fairy tale. In the previous video, uh, we actually restored one of the farms, or one of the lands of lights, or farm of light. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> and we actually got our farm revitalized. Look at that. Look how nice everything is. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to head into our house, see what that looks like. Oh boy, it looks so pretty. Yeah. There's even a dedicated room. I'm not trying to save game. <laughs> What's this thing? Looks like a tiny horse. Cheer up. Hey, little guy. Okay. Anything else? What am I supposed to do now? Maybe I should actually head... Let me see. Hold on, I need this. I need to check my seeds. Damn. Items. Where are they? Better at Pietro's farm. Better Pietro's farm. Pietro. Okay, tree broccoli shard and frosty cabbage shard. Uh, seeds, not shards. Oh my god, seeds. Those are better at the Sylvan farm. So we're gonna go there. All right, let's gonna move on. Where was it? It wasn't that far away, right? Yeah. The Cordon region. We'll probably get that area next, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Also, I just realized that my other companions are not with me. So it looks like at some, at some times, uh, our party will be less than full. <laughs> Unless this is where they immediately rejoin us. Just, just what I was looking for. My farm's gotten a huge makeover, so I thought I'd invite you and Rue over for... Come with me. Okay, Nino, where are we going? Oh no! Their farm! Rue? Are you okay? You don't look so good. My turnips have all withered and died. I'm sure the land's just given out from beneath me. I probably used up all the nutrients this soil had. It was bound to happen sooner or later. It's too bad, though. I was gonna make turnip soup for you and for brother. Pietro. You know what I'm gonna say, Pietro, don't you? There's gotta be one of them things squirming around inside this garden. Okay. Yeah, we need to get in there and defeat it. Which means you need my power now. What the heck, Connie? That was quite the evil laughter. Forgot about that part. Now, now, this is for your dear little brother, right? So all you have to do is ask real nice. Magnificent Miss Connie, won't you please help me? Oh, don't get carried away, you little moth. Um, is this very tiny person a fairy by any chance? <laughs> That's right. I am a beautiful, mysterious, and dainty little butter. Oh, Miss Fairy, are you telling me my garden can be restored back to the way it was? Yes, w with my power, it'll be back to normal in no time. <laughs> oh my God, does Connie have a crush on Rue? Hey, why are you acting totally different with him? Oh, we're all going. Oh my god, I wonder what role Rue will play, if any. I mean, Connie comes with us, and she doesn't fight in our party, but I wonder if Rue does. Ooh. Hmm? Rue, your reaction to this is a lot different than Nino's. As it should be, this boy's been here numerous times already in his dreams. Oh dear Rue, however long to meet you in person. Come to think of it, I do get the feeling we've met before. You have yet to awaken your true power, but I know it's there. I know what you can do. It's because you are who you are that this farm has remained so fertile long after the loss of Lady Galariel's divine protection. Your touch upon the earth fills these cavernous grooves with pure light root. It's breathtaking. Butter. Yes, that's exactly it. He has a certain aura to him, doesn't he? 
butter. Huh? huh? Pardon? I suspect you bear the rumored power of the Galleryland nobles, the Golden Thumb. You may in fact be the estranged prince of Galerius, having successfully escaped from the kingdom after all the unpleasantness. Now that's just stupid. We ain't nobles, and he sure as heck ain't a prince. No way, no how. Right? If Rue's a prince, that means you'd have to be one too, and that can't possibly be. No, oh, shut up. Um, anyway, we should get moving and clear out this garden. Come on. New pair skills available for Pietro and Rue. Oh no, Rue. Uh, and for Nino and Rue. So Rue does join the party. Literally, he actually gets to fight with us. And of course, I have Produce to pick. Of course I do. <laughs> because why not? Oh boy. Time to run through some random encounters. Oh god, that's a lot of enemies. Should be no trouble for Nino and his mighty fists. See how close we can get. Actually, I would love to see what his skills are. Oh, he's a healer. Nice. Well, he might be like more like the mage, I suppose. Because he can also do Aqua Break, Ice Ring, and Earth Song. Earth Song. Well, that takes a lot of MP, but he has a lot of MP. Holy crap, he has 135. Uh, of course, that's on the bottom screen. You can't see it, so ha 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 ha. I'm actually want, I actually want to use Aqua Break just to see what it can do. Aqua Break. Oh, that's cute. He uses a slingshot. No. All right, that's pretty much the it. I don't think I'm going to use the rest of his MP up, although he does have a lot. <laughs> so he has, time, you know, has a lot to spare. Like I've always said, don't waste your, uh, don't waste skills on these low-life monsters. It's a waste, a waste of MP. All right, still have more P. Oh, ooh, ooh, this way, this way. Maybe there's a chest. No. Okay, let's go back up. Oh, there's a chest. Stamina droplet. Thank you very much. I wonder if there was another there was another path up there. I wonder if it leads to a treasure chest. Why do I get the feeling that Rue is not going to be really good at like just fighting in general? Like he's going to be more of a magic user. I don't have anything to back that up because I haven't seen him attack yet, but we are about to find out. He doesn't have a lot of range, though. He might, he might be who I give my magical, pe uh, the mysterious pendant uh, to. But then again, I'm not sure how long he'll stay in our party. Yeah, he, he does a lot. He does not do a lot of damage. Alright, I gotta be heading this way. <laughs> Well, it's not going to be easy to get over there. going to have to use our skills. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Especially that one on the left. 300 damage? Jesus Christ. Definitely going to have to save that. I didn't mean to actually use like a bear, <laughs> a powerful spell right there, but oh wow, oh huh, this place is seriously small. <laughs> Let's go back. There might be another path that leads to a treasure chest. Of course, if there's nothing this way, we're gonna have to trek all the way back, and that's gonna be annoying. Oh wow, there's a completely different path that we just completely. We completely skipped over. We found the Black Beast like, very quickly. Like I said, there's a whole other area over here. But hopefully, we actually managed to get a treasure chest out of this. Oh my god, we didn't. There was nothing over here. Ugh. Ugh. It was so useless. Or pointless, really.
I may need to give Rue something to help with his attack. I'm not sure if it would be worth it. I'm not sure how long he'll stay in our party. But I'm actually going to want to restore his MP. Let's go ahead and go down. Hold on. Does Blue Wolf have something to do with MP? No, that's HP. What about Rue himself? No. That'd be weird. Alright, let's see. Magic Leaf. Go ahead and restore some of that. Because we are about to fight ourselves. I guess he would be more a mini boss. These aren't really bosses. Alright. I think we got into a random encounter before we got to the boss. This should be fairly easy. Oh, God, I couldn't get him close enough. Don't want to use any MP of anybody because we want to use that all on the boss. <laughs> Mini boss, really. Even though I, I doubt we're going to have a hard time taking him down. I feel like we do a few damage to him and he's going to be dead. Like, just watch. Just watch. We'll take him down quick. Yeah, we've already faced this kind before. Some epic battle music. I feel like I could have actually attacked right there with Blue Wolf. Alright, let's try... Let's see what I want to do. Was it Ice Spring? I think it was. Let's do this. Alright, I, I was hoping it would do 300, so that was sort of a, a waste of a move. It probably shouldn't take us too long to kill this thing. I could be underestimating you, though. I mean, this is another sort of... Yeah, that did a lot of damage. I'm underestimating it. Multi-knuckle. Let's do it. It looks cool. The power of brotherly love. Did not do a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Nope, still alive. Yep, I completely underestimated it. Alright. Uh, let's heal myself. Okay, because I don't want Blue Wolf to die. Now, let's see. I actually have Breath of Life. Evokes healing powers from within the... Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that's a really good move. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do Cross Judgment with um, with Nino. I think it's my more, it's my more powerful uh, ability. Nope, still not dead yet. Holy crap. He doesn't have any more MP left, so... Just got to use our fists now. Ooh, that was critical, even though it... Didn't actually do that much. Let's do Aqua Break again. Aqua break. This thing has a lot of health. Yep, we win. Didn't take that long. Didn't take that long. Thank you for your help, all of you. Especially Rue. Man, how into my brother are you girls? Oh, brave hero, as a show of my appreciation for purifying this land, I'd like you to have this. Receive rock hard die can see three. Okay. I actually have something for you too, Mr. Hero. Ta-da! It's fairy dust, just like you hear about in all the folk tales. With this stuff, you can fly it back to any place you visited in all of Gallery Land. Poof, just like that. Yes! I knew it. I knew there had to be some kind of like fast travel system in place because I did not want to walk around everywhere and it never runs out yes thank god or thank Galleriel so you're free to use as much of it as you want the fairy magic contained in this powder can instantly transport whoever uses it to any place he or she has previously visited touch the rainbow icon or press the white button to sprinkle some then select your destination press the A button to be on your on your way fairy dust cannot be used in dungeons obviously that makes a lot of sense. Ah. 
Oh, my god, it really is back to the way it was. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so, so much. Oh, please, there was nothing. You don't need to thank me. I was just doing my job. It's great, ain't it, Rue? Now you can go vegetables here again without any trouble. Everything's back to normal and nobody's worse for the wear. What's wrong, Rue? Pietro, is this what you've been doing here? Is this your quest? Going around to different fields and purifying them by defeating the beasts within? Yeah, I mean, pretty much, man. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's what I've decided to do here. It's the one and only way to revive Lady Galerio, who blesses all the world's soil. And brother, have you been helping him in secret? Sorry, it just kind of worked out that way. That's unbelievable. Can I come with you for your next mission, brother? I'd really like to help. I like how he calls it mission. What are you saying? You know your body's too weak for that. But brother, it's so lonely just waiting here, worrying about you. Bro. Aw, oh, don't give me that look. You know we're going to be fighting monsters, right? Pick scary ones and lots of them. But please... Hear me out. I think I could be. I think I could be of some help to you out there. I fought by your side in my own garden, after all, and held my own there the entire time. That's right. You fought hard and you fought well. Flutter. See, even Connie wants me to go, and I swear I'll give you one hundred ten percent. So please, won't you let me come with you? Hey, I'm in. He has like a lot of magical power. Just be careful you don't push yourself too hard. I don't want anything to happen to you out there. Promise? I promise. Thank you, brother. What? This means I just agreed to keep on journeying with Pietro myself, don't it? <laughs> yes, it did, Nino. You're stuck with me. Huh? You mean you didn't want to? Yeah, of course I didn't. Not at all. Not even a little. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Pietro. I'm sure he's excited. I know I certainly am. But are you okay with us tagging along? Yeah, man. The more the merrier. Of course. The more the merrier. <gasps> what? Did we just... Did I just predict what he said? Holy crap. That's... That's fun. I'm happy because I get to travel with Rue. But conflicted because I'm forced to travel with his bratty brother, too. Oh, why must fate tease me so? <laughs> Nino, Rue, glad to have you both on board. Did anybody hear what I just said? Well, whatever. Rue's happy, so I guess it's fine. Glad to be part of the team. Nino and Rue have joined the party. Awesome. So, Connie, where's the next form of light that needs purifying? I bet I know, I bet I know. The closest one would be in... Oh, I, I was wrong. In Zazul, and the flambeau should be kept on a farm just outside the ruins there. Zazul's right across the river. All you gotta do is follow the white paved road at the edge of the forest and cross the bridge just past it. Got it. Let's go. I don't think I've been to Zazul yet. Like, they acted as if I had seen that monster before, but I hadn't. So. Ooh, another. Let's go to this outcropping. Is there a person there? Well, actually, I think that's the direction we need to go. He has a quest for us, though. Mm. My, my. This is a problem. Every now and again, shield bugs shed their shells out here in the forest. And those shells are hard and durable. They're great for tool making. Problem is, lizard men groups keep on coming in from Zazul and taking them before I have a chance. Or worse, while I'm out collecting them. And I mean, the shells are fair game, sure, but I do wish there would be fewer lizard men to contend with, you know? I will help you out with that problem. What, you? You're going to the moors of Zazul to take out lizardmen for me? Man, I did not see that coming. But if you're serious, thanks. Be sure you be sure you take care out there. The moors are pretty dangerous and lizardmen don't mess around. None shall... <laughs> I like the name of this quest. None shall carapace. Uh, that's adorable. That's adorable. Oh, I want... I really want to... Well, first off, I'm quick saving. First of all. I also have a lot of gold. Maybe I should really consider stopping in on those other towns. Ooh. I was about to walk back, but I forgot. Fairy dust. 
Actually, let's go to, um... First off, let's go back to my farm. Because I want to... I want to rest up at the farmhouse. Restore our MP and whatnot. Yep. I would like to stay the night. Also, this would be a better chance to save our progress instead of quick saving. I imagine quick saves, eh, they're fine, but you always will not have a hard save there. Oh, well, they're going to ask me anyway, so that's good. Now, I woke up late today because I had been planning to record eight hours of video. And <laughs> I woke up late because I couldn't sleep, so yeah. We're going to try to get away with four hours. That's, that's eight videos. That's good enough. All right. Boom. We're almost out of time for this video anyways. I should go ahead and plant some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and till the soil, plant the seeds, and then I want to actually take a trip over to, what was it, Lampling Town? Lampling Village or something? Because I wanted to give a present to that girl there. So, BRB. All right, back at Lampling Village. It would also be nice to see if there's any more quests around, because you never know. We haven't talked. We haven't talked to her in a while, so we're gonna go. She's been missing us probably. So I, none of you have actually commented, letting me know if any of the girls have specific tastes and gifts. So, if any of you are actually playing this game besides me, please. Let me know if the girls like specific gifts. Because I know that they did in Story of Seasons. I have no idea about this game. So, we're going to go ahead and give her one of this. Ooh, thanks. That's a real thoughtful gesture. Alright. Actually, I wanted to check her flower petals. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know how much progress we're actually making. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to head real quick to the Sylvan Farm. I know we're not making much progress story-wise, but we're actually at the almost at the end of this video, and I just really wanted to uh, plant some stuff here. Actually, let's talk to these people. Oh wow, I didn't. Courageous hero. Once again, I must thank you for all you've done, and once again, I feel compelled to remind you that this farmland is yours to do with as you wish. Please don't forget right. that. I won't. Thank you. Outsiders are not typically allowed free access to this land, though your companions are an exception. They may join you as honored guests. Huh, I ain't nobody's guest. I live in Urbane, so I got just as much right to be here as Pietro. How dare you speak to one of the four great lords like that, you boorish nincompoop, you cur. Please, do not fight. It accomplishes nothing. Now, regarding this farm, you must certainly be aware by now that this is one of the four farms of light, blessed by Lady Galeriel, or Galeriel herself. One of the benefits to working land here is that you'll be able to grow unique produce in varieties available nowhere else. Oh wow, what kind of produce? Well... What? Please, tell me everything. How long does it take before it's ready to harvest? And how does it taste? Oh. Rue, you shouldn't ask that many questions at once. Give her a chance to answer first. If you're that curious, I'll be happy to elaborate. Bear in mind that though I speak specifically of the Sylvan farm, this applies to the other farms of light as well. Each has produce one can only grow within its soil, and unsurprisingly, the result tends to be an array of truly splendid vegetables. Wow. That sounds amazing. It will be even more so once all the farms of light have been unsealed and all of Galleria land can enjoy the bounty of the earth. And as each farm is cleansed and freed, Lady Galeriel's power will grow. It is thus your mission, courageous hero, to revive this darkness-stricken land and bring life back to that which is now only shadow. And in the spirit of that mission, I present you with a challenge. Hold out your hand, please. Tree broccoli seed. This is a type of vegetable which can only be grown on this land. Amazing! Wow, for real? You know, isn't that just incredible to think about? You're wasting your breath trying to get a lunkhead like him to appreciate such a subtle, tasteful beauty. Huh? What was that? Uh-huh. I, I think we should just focus on planting vegetables right now. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got a cutscene out of that. Let's talk to some of our, uh, our companions. Seems you can get any unique dialogue. What a lovely spacious farm this is, and the earth smells so fresh and inviting here. Hey, what are you doing standing around? Talking to me ain't gonna grow you any produce. What if I can... Oh my god, yes. I can get this. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's a little bit hard to position yourself. Ooh, we can get a quest. 
I beg your ear. I know of a location bereft of vegetables, and I feel it is my duty as a gallery sprite to provide the people of such places with fresh produce. And the best, freshest produce I know of is that which is grown on this very soil. But of course, I require the aid of humans to grow vegetables even here. The item I wish to send is frosty Napa cabbage. Will you assist me? Yes, I would. I don't think I have that particular seed, though. I am in your debt. Thank you for your kind regard. So I don't think I have that particular... I don't think I have that particular item. Uh, uh, wait, no, this is it, right? Fro yeah! Awesome. Okay, well, we're going to plant those first. What else can we plant here? Um, the tree broccoli seeds and the urbane cabbage. But first, we're going to focus on the frost. Actually, hold on. Ooh. Okay, well, we, st mm, we still have a bit of time left. I don't know if I want to take it up with just doing this. But, let yeah, let's, let's do it. We just need to till the soil. So I'm going to do that real quick. Get those planted and cut ahead. Alright, we finished watering all the plants. All the seeds, actually. I do not think we... Yeah, we have to actually wait for the, the cabbage to grow. But that's actually a nice start. Um, I want to check out the area around here. I think we already knew that this was here. I got to make sure I remember to synthesize stuff. Otherwise... You know, like, what's the point of grabbing all these materials? Alright, and that's actually what I wanted to accomplish here. I mean, there's I technically still have some more seeds left, but this is actually fine. Uh, next place we wanted to go... Um, well, we could go ahead and visit Matthew Village. So that we can go ahead and give a uh, present to the other girl up here. Oh, and there are more quests. Hey, uh, have you noticed that the nice lady who runs the inn has been real cold and distant lately? It's almost like she's hiding something, but I know she keeps a journal, so maybe if I could get a look at that, I'd know for sure. Only problem is, her journal's kept in a place I can't get to without being spotted, so I was kind of hoping you might take a peek for me? Yeah, sure, okay. We're gonna actually do this. Secrets and kept. Uh, where's the inn again? This way? We're gonna do this one last quest, and then we're gonna end the video. Okay. Where's your journal? Is this it? This is the inn, right? Oh, there's no, there's another area to it. <laughs> there it is. Found the innkeeper's journal. Can, can I take it? Did I take it? I must have, because that's found it. So we must have taken it. Even though it still looks like it's there. Um, so, I'm back from the inn. I found the innkeeper's journal and it says... Earl, I'll whisper it to you. Pietra summarized what he's read. <laughs> Yay, she doesn't hate me. Thank you so much for looking. I know how weird that must have been. Here, you can have this. Matthew Village painting. I I assume I can hang that up in my my uh, my house. Let's keep this our little secret, okay? All right, and that's actually going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a big like and maybe a comment. Or consider subscribing for more Return the Pope of LaCroix content. Again, thank you guys for watching. Take care.